famous. So you 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 um you know uh got some history going back to going back with uh, Sonny Carson. Yeah. Right. And you know and, and you know see Sonny Carson to my generation. My particular generation, right. we know no, no one for the like the skits on the Wu Tang album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but 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 he has a, an extensive history in Medina, dealing with bringing people together and also getting jobs. You know, even with Akbar. Sucker think he good. Sucker think he can whoop me, and I know he can't whoop me. I, hey boy, the nigga whole style is chump. Yeah. And everything. So if you could build on that, you know, a little bit. Well. Um, When I met Sonny Carson, God, you know, I had a liquor store on uh, Park Avenue. You know, I had just lost my liquor store. I had a liquor store on um, Park Avenue and Carlton in Medina. Park Avenue and Park, Park and Carlton Avenue in Fort Green. At, 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 the, end of the, at the beginning of the project, under the, under the L mm. Highway. But anyway, and I was going through a bad time. But uh, I had just lost my son, Rasheem. Mm. And uh, I, had, uh, I had lost a lot of people in my family, you know. In that year, from like spring all the way to like October, November, you know, I lost a lot of members of my family, immediate family, my sister, my mother, you know, my son. Mm. And right after that, I lost um, my, my son's first cousin, his, his aunt's first daughter, Tondaleo. She got killed in, in Brooklyn. On, on, she got killed on Notion Avenue in the McDonald's right there at Broadway, uh, uh, Flatbush Extension, Flatbush mm -hmm. Junction, mm -hmm. over there at Brooklyn College. She was cheated in Brooklyn College and she, some guy walked into the thing while she was meeting for her, with her sister for lunch and she got killed. So that time for me was very, very, you know, I was fucked, I, I was messed up. Mm -hmm. You know, I was digging into, you know, I was digging into my cash, you know, store funds, you know, that bad time and, um, Somebody came and got me and said, Sonny Carson wanted to talk to you. I said, yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, Sonny Carson, what did you see me about? Because somebody went and told him, you better go get that brother. Mm. You know, that brother, man, we can't lose him. Because I was like losing. I mean, my, my son got killed. I mean, I just couldn't. My son was the, the piece of, you know, the, the straw that broke the, you know. The right, 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 right. And um, so I went and sat down with this man, and uh, they took me to Worlds, man. I expected to see a big guy, <laughs> you know, like sincere type of guy, the real big dude. So he was a little guy, you know. Mm. You know, he was not little, but he was a powerful man. He was, he was just like steel, had hands like steel, you know. But um, yeah, they held me down, man. They held me. Sonny said, you know, well, look at him. I need, to, I need, I need to talk. He said, man, we talked about a few things, and one of the things that, he, that we, we talked about was, you know, he wasn't gonna let me go nowhere until he got me straight. Cause I was all cracked out. I was smoking crack. Mm. I was I wasn't doing no dope, you know. I was drinking. I was because you know, I couldn't burn that pain out, you know. Mm. And they did me in, bro. They they did what they had to do, but uh, I came out of that shit. It was like what year I mean, was that, Carl? This was wow. This was wow. I can't remember. <laughs> this man, this is about thirty years ago, bro. Mm. Like some some this somewhere was, like, early you know, born, born ciphers. This is what, what year was that? Eighty eight. Okay. Eighty eight, eighty nine. Okay, so that's yeah. well, well after, well after when he did the movie and everything. That's yeah, cause he was, see, cause the movie and everything. So, uh, he did the movie in seventy something, seventy five, something like that, mm -hmm. seventy three, around there. And a lot of us were still like, we were doing a lot of teaching there. Akbar and them, you know, they were. Uh, uh, <laughs> the Akbar and them acknowledged themselves back then. They might have, you know. Well, what, what, because I, I know I thought like right afterwards he I, well from what I from what I I was told that like, right afterwards he got now after the movie right after the movie yeah because the guards found it you know the guard, who went out it was um, I can't think of his brother's name uh, 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 it was El Son in Law and um, El Son in Law and the brother how could I forget his brother everybody knows him mm. some beautiful brothers man they went out there. Um, who was it? Uh, mm. This brother used to run with us. So everybody, it, it was Elson and Law's partner. Whoever was out there, you know, we all know who Elson and Law's partner was. I can't think of his name right offhand. But they went out there and they started teaching. Mm. And then we had, um, we had uh, Messiah was out there, Puerto Rican Messiah from out there in Euclid Avenue. Oh, and the projects out there. We had Charlique out there. 
We had, uh, 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 who else was out there? Uh, Kent. Monique was out there. Father mm -hmm. Biden and them was in Canarsie, so. Right. But they came later, you know. They All the brothers came out at the same time. But Akbar, man, he was the brother that hooked up. When he hooked up with Sonny, Akbar was, he wasn't that literate, you know. He was The brother wasn't he that literate. He couldn't read. But, but, but he was a genius when it came to manipulating them developers and stuff like that to build his community up, you know? Because he couldn't stop them from tearing down the developments that were there already, the tenement houses with 10 and 15 people in the, in the building. Because what it did, Sonny Carter didn't want that to happen because when you tear down tenement buildings with, let's say on Saratoga Avenue, you got like maybe five different, 10, 10 different buildings on that block. Each building has like uh, 10 families. Like that's like 10, five different, that's 10, 20, 30, 40. That's five buildings on one side of the street. That would be like 50 families. Mm -hmm. The other side might have three buildings. That might be 30 families. That's 80 families. Anywhere, each block had at least 100 families to a block. When you came in and you tore down all them buildings with all them families in it, you're taking away families and you put a, a house down, one house. So for every building, there would have been two houses. So you wind up losing voter power voting power, because mm -hmm. each individual is a vote, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So Browser was strong that they had all them people in there and they were always voting in a certain way, so they kept their power there mm -hmm. to a certain degree. Once you tore them buildings down, their power was gone, you know, as far as votes. Because they were broken up, they, separated. Then they, they, they moved into the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. The whole Browser got torn down almost. Mm -hmm. So all them people were gone. They lost all their voting So they were power. trying like to basically, like you saying, like gentrify the well, Browser you know, at the time? That was, that, what, what it was, they were calling themselves beautifying the community but Beautiful people didn't community. see it because the ones that got the houses they got their house they ain't worried about no fucking vote mm -hmm. they got theirs you know but at the same time what about all the, the what about for each building what about all the you got ten, what about the other eight families where they going mm -hmm. to the bronx further out east new york i mean bronzeville was laid low with all them houses you know them duplexes this and that but for each house you got rid of at least 10, 10, 10, 8, 10, 8 families. Mm. Cause they used to stay in that place. Now you only got one family. You know, so you know, so Sonny seeing that and he was, and people used to come and say, yo, that's bowling power. And that's how Brownsville lost a lot of what he was getting back then. Now, in order to build these houses, our boss said, we, 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 can't, we can't stop him from building. Well, you, I want, he said, I'm gonna handle this. Mm. And they had to go through him to even get a, Tired, <laughs> mm. you know. Uh, uh, they couldn't do nothing in Brownsville unless they went to uh, Akbar. For them boys, wasn't happening. Mm. That's how he got the coalition. He would go all over with his coalition and get work. But when it came to Brownsville, no, you had to go to Akbar. And Sonny has his back on that. But Akbar was a genius when it came to negotiating with them developers. They knew him and they respected him. You know, they they it wasn't about as long as he walked in the room, everything is peace. But he never bit his tongue. I was never there for any negotiations, things of that nature, you know. But uh, Akbar was a—he uh, was—he was an awesome brother. He, he got to work for. He put a lot of brothers to work. A lot of brothers to work, but they're still there. Mm. All that work they did—they're still there. You would think that's one man. Working one thing, and they were there for a minute. Akbar's going, and all the guys that was working for him. They, so they all they all still there, mm -hmm. you know. Something about Browns was that kept people there, you know. Instead of leaving, you know, and let the next person come in, you know. And then projects, you know, this right. that's, that's the only thing they couldn't tear out. But all the rest of the houses and this and that mm -hmm. around the project, I got two daughters came out from projects, man. Mm -hmm. You know, one around the corner from the other. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, so, right, right. It was rough. <laughs> this, this, goes, this, goes, this goes way back before then, though. Before right, I, right. I go back into this. It was about the same time, he stopped lying, <laughs> 75. Mm -hmm. I didn't hang out with Akbar and them, but um, I know when I, when I finally called up with Akbar, we used to sit down and talk with Sonny a lot, but uh, I never got involved in their personal business, you know? I stayed out of their politics, you know? Mm -hmm. But my thing was just to make sure I could change the name of the street, you know, you know, uh, travel with the plan, you know, and just take care of Sonny, man, Sonny when I went. If Mega did this.